And another week in the Montana legislature, lawmakers aren't much closer to resolving two of the biggest issues of the session, Medicaid expansion and the future of coal strip. MTN's Mike Dennison explains. The state Senate deadlocked 25 to 25 Thursday on the bill to continue Medicaid expansion, which provides health coverage to 96,000 low-income adults in Montana. On Friday, Democrats asked the Senate to take it up again, but leaders of the Republican majority argued against it. I've had a lot of people come to me with a lot of questions that they're delving into that legislation and they want some more time. The Democrats' request failed on a 24-26 vote. It appears Republicans are waiting to see what will happen to a proposal meant to encourage Northwestern Energy to buy a portion of the Coal Strip 4 power plant and a related high-voltage transmission line. GOP lawmakers say the purchase will help prolong the life of the power plant, save jobs, and help energy generation in the state. Late Friday, on a party-line vote, Republicans on a House committee approved a bill containing this proposal. So no matter what, Montana is going to need more power. If there's an opportunity for us to pick it up right here, already in place, in Coal Strip, burning coal that's from Montana, I don't see how this is a problem. The bill was amended to give the State Public Service Commission more control over how Northwestern customers would pay for the plant costs. But Democrats say it's still a bad idea. This committee and this legislature is most obviously not a substitute for the PSC, nor is this committee and this legislator, <clears throat> legislature the proper place to negotiate specific energy trades. But it's also not clear whether sponsors of the coal strip bill like the amendments either, or what that means for action on the Medicaid bill. Republican State Senator Dwayne Agney of Coal Strip told MTN News late Friday that the Coal Strip proposal may end up in a joint House-Senate conference committee, which could insert the language that makes it work. One thing we do know, the clock is ticking. Whichever bill solves this puzzle must clear their respective House by Tuesday. At the Capitol, Mike Dennison, MTN News. All right, thanks, Mike, for that.